Third Law 21 has been a hot topic for many landowners in South Dakota ahead of next month's election. Our Adrian Carbajal talked with the Democratic and Republican candidates running for our state's lone seat in the House of Representatives about the impacts RL 21 could have on the state. South Dakota's referred Law 21, better known as RL 21, would allow counties to impose a surcharge on certain pipeline companies. Those surcharges would then be distributed as tax relief to each property owner impacted in the county in which the pipeline is installed. While it sounds good in theory, Democratic House of Representatives candidate Cheryl Johnson says in her conversations with farmers and landowners, they believe it is just a buyout in order to build through their land. And I'm very concerned because it's not like an oil pipeline or a natural gas pipeline. It's CO2, and that's a very dangerous gas if it leaks. But the ethanol companies are wanting to force it through the farmers' lands and think that if they give them lots of money, they're going to be okay with it. This is not about money to the farmers. This is their family lives they're talking about. Summit Carbon Solutions is set to build a pipeline through eastern South Dakota. Cheryl Johnson said another major concern is whether or not Summit Carbon can actually build that pipeline safely since they haven't built one before. Representative Dusty Johnson, Cheryl Johnson's adversary in this year's race for a seat in the United States House of Representatives, agrees that safety is the utmost importance when it comes to farmers and their families. I do think if, if the project is going to move forward, it's got to do two things. Number one, it's got to protect landowners, and number two, it's got to protect public safety. And ultimately, uh, they'll, they'll have to prove a thousand things in state law. If they don't prove uh, their, if they don't meet their burden of proof in state law, they should absolutely not get a permit to build. Some of the stories I've heard about how they've treated some of these farmers, it's just appalling. And they've made statements like, well, you know, we'll be back. Our lawyers are going to win. You're going to have to sell no matter what. You know, we're bigger than you. We've got more money than you. Um, you know, that's not the way to go around, you know, getting business. Dusty Johnson noted that the decision is in the hands of the voters and said if South Dakotans don't want this passed, they need to vote on November 5th. Reporting for Coda Territory News, I'm Adrian Harbaugh.